everyone, it's Freshness and Bunnies here, and Oliver, we got Oliver also in the shot, who's a little bit angry because I'm holding him, but that's okay because he's so cute. Look, what a, what a baby, what a baby. In this video, I'm actually doing the theme for the YouTube Artist Collective, but before we get to that, I actually want to just talk about something very quickly because I'm kind of excited for it. Are you excited too? No, you're not excited. You're angry because I'm holding you. Yeah, you're not. Oh, oh, ow. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should put him down. He's not really, he's not excited for this news. Okay, one sec. I finally reached 30,000 subscribers. 30,000, yeah! And I just wanna take a moment to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing, for liking my videos, for posting these beautiful comments, and also for basically supporting me throughout the entire year of 2017. I am so eternally grateful, and without you guys, I literally would not be doing this right now because I probably would have quit a long time ago and be destined to do a nine to five job every single day uh, till I retire, which is not what I really want to do in life. So I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much. And I hope that 2018 is going to be even better. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop talking. Enough rambling. Let's just get to the actual speed painting portion of this video. Okay guys, so before we get into the logistics and overall concept of this painting, I just want to quickly promote and talk about the YouTube Artist Collective. Many of you are probably already aware of what the collective is, but for those of you guys who have never heard of the YouTube Artist Collective, it's basically a group of artists that get together every few months and they draw and paint a specific theme that has been voted upon by the viewers. It's actually really fun and it's really cool. You guys can check out their Facebook page and you could also see which artists are part of the collective. There are permanent members and there are also open guest spots. So if you guys are interested, you guys can contact them via the Facebook page. This is basically how I found out about joining them uh, unofficially, more or less just being a guest. And I was actually honored to be a guest for the last theme and also was asked again to be a guest for this theme. So it's actually really cool and it's a lot of fun to be a part of and also to participate in. You can find all of the links down below. I have links to the YouTube artists that are part of this collective for the official users and also for the non-official guest uh, YouTube artists. And there's also a link to the actual official Facebook page. The theme for this month is Fortune, Fables, and Fates. The original theme was actually tarot cards, but was quickly changed to a more broader kind of topic with Fortune, Fables, and Fates due to religious reasons, which I could totally understand. Uh, so when I saw that the theme was tarot cards, I had immediately, you know, done my research. I was like, ah, okay. I kind of have a general idea of which direction I want to go into. And then when it was changed to Fortune, Fables, and Fates, I, I was like, okay, I don't know if I should stick to the original idea or if I should try something that's a little bit different but in the end I did end up going with my tarot card that I had chosen from the very beginning now going into this overall tarot card theme, I really did not know much about tarot cards. I've never played with them. I never had a reading with them. I just didn't really know the historical background of tarot cards. So I did do the research and I checked out what was what. And it's actually quite fascinating, the overall history of tarot cards. I ended up going with a specific tarot card that really spoke out to me in so many different ways. I'm not sure if you guys have already guessed which one it was. It's a really basic one. At the beginning, I was thinking of doing something a little bit more on the dark side because I do like that theme as well. But I decided to go with one that was actually pretty basic in my opinion, but in the end, even though it was a simple idea, it gave me room to play around with my technique and also with a new style. So a little bit of advice for me to you, sometimes keeping it conceptually very simple is actually a better idea and allows you to breathe and allows you to focus on different aspects of the painting. In this case, the aspect that I really wanted to focus on was trying a new style of art and I did select an Art Nouveau style and it's a really beautiful style actually and it's something that I found when I was researching the tarot cards that there were quite a bit of collections of these cards done within the Art Nouveau style. 
Uh, so I did try to do this. I'm not sure if I really uh, did as good as I could have. Uh, but then again, it's really the first time that I try something like this um, in terms of the colors, in terms of the composition, in terms of creating a full background. And I think that it was, even though challenging, it was a lot of fun. And it was, um, it just brought a whole nother complexity to the stuff that I normally do. And uh, it was a really good change, actually. So the tarot card that I'm actually painting is the Empress. Now, again, very simple. Uh, it's probably one of the top tarot cards that are found in the deck, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But the Empress really spoke out to me. I was looking for a card that actually fit with what is currently going on in my life. And the Empress more or less was sort of that kind of ideal that I was searching for. Now the Empress is mostly associated with uh, fertility. Um, in this case, I'm definitely not looking to get pregnant or start a family, so that wasn't the ideal I was going for. But she's also, what I found was really cool was that she's also associated to creativity and to art as well. What I really liked about her overall message is that she really asks you to connect with yourself, with your inner beauty, with your outer beauty, with your creative expression, um, with your emotions. Basically, her message is to create beauty in your life, to get in touch with your emotions, to use these emotions and these senses to experience uh, life in itself, and also to discover ways to creatively express yourself. Um, so the expression could be done via music, via any sort of acting or painting painting for example and it's all about just connecting with nature with connecting with yourself with um just experiencing life through these sort of visual cues so i i really think that this kind of um <laughs> uh, <laughs> explains myself in in this moment and um it has explained myself like this is how i am and have been since i was <laughs> a little girl i could say where just like i'm acutely aware of my emotions and I'm actually super sensitive with a lot of things and I tend to just like push these emotions into creative art forms whether this is through painting or through writing because I also do enjoy writing and this is exactly how I deal with my emotions and how I can express myself it's all done through these sort of creative art forms I think that overall, there are a few things that I could have done better. For example, I think that the proportion with the hand and the arm looks way too big compared to the size of her overall face. I also think that the stars look a little bit shoddy, like I could have probably done them <laughs> a lot better. There were a lot of mistakes that I did, but at the same time, I kind of have to just think about the positives in this case because I did try something new. I tried a completely different like color scheme in terms of working together with like the, the greens and the purples and like the yellows. Um, there's a lot of colors that I don't typically use, like the yellow colors, for example. So I kind of wanted to find a way to make it all work together um, with the Art Nouveau style. And just the Art Nouveau style in itself is extremely detailed and it's just a completely different way of painting or just drawing because you're you are using a lot of geometric shapes together with kind of natural shapes and it's just like it, it's a bit it, it can be a bit confusing, especially if you've never done it before. Overall, though, I think it did turn out kind of pretty. I, I do like it. Um, and yeah, I'm just proud that I decided to do something that is a little bit more risky for myself and also just, you know, use it as a, a way to experience or experiment with a different way of painting something. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'd like to thank the YouTube Artist Collective for allowing me to be a guest for the second time. It was really, really fun. And I would, of course, love to be a guest for another time for an upcoming theme. I think it's a really fun thing to do. Also, make sure to check out my live stream tomorrow. I am starting my official Hue Challenge uh, for the month. So tomorrow I will be starting with the color pink, I believe. Uh, so do check out my live stream. It is posted on my YouTube channel and you can see the upcoming live streams as well for the next few Saturdays. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did like it. Do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and check out my social media accounts, Facebook and Instagram. All the links can be found down below in the video description. I'd like to wish you guys all a lovely day. Keep being awesome, keep drawing, keep pushing yourself and we will see each other 
in the next time. <laughs>